Hello my beauties and welcome back to another plan with me video and it's Friday so there's always going to be a video up on Friday. Now people do ask me why do I post Friday and not write on Mondays and is that I do have two little ones and to protect my privacy I rather have the events happen before I show the video publicly. It's just it's just me, I guess. It's just me being protective or overly protective. So that's why I post my plan with me or any videos on Friday because I want the event to happen before I post the video. Before we start the plan with me video, I do want to thank all of you for participating or for purchasing a November mystery kit on our new website. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it is a new website, I know there are some kinks that we have to work out and a few concerns that I got or messages I got from you guys is number one, you can't get to the website, which is up. Oh, please make sure you type in the website correctly because that's the number one reason why you can't access the website. So it's www.thepinkroomco.com. And secondly, the coupon code. Now, in order for you guys to have the coupon code or for the coupon code to work you have to register first onto the website meaning you have to create an account first before the code would work if you just type it in and not have an email account or a create account with us or register an account the code is inactive it will not work unless you register your email or register with us and then you apply the code onto your purchase and then it will work. I know it's weird that way, but that's the only way that the website will let me get around the code. So those of you who haven't purchased a November mystery kit yet, you do have till Sunday night, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to get your hands on a kit that's already on sale plus additional 15% off plus free shipping. So you guys have till Sunday night to get your hands on one and further ado our plan with me this week plan with me I've decided to use one of my kits from my October mystery kit it's because it is breast cancer awareness month and I want to start off this month or the first week of October with a breast cancer type of spread here are the stickers that I'll be using on my happy planner um, it, the kit comes with all these functional full box date covers, headers. It also comes with ombre heart check boxes and a freebie sheet. And I think this is the great right amount of stickers that you could use for a weekly spread. This week we're going to plan from October 3rd to October 9th. Let's get started. This is going to be a white space spread. Even though it is a white space spread, I do like using my ombre heart check boxes. I find it very organized when I do list things, then my heart check flags there as you can see. Another reason why I like the ombre heart check boxes is because they are full boxes and it adds more color to the spread. Next, I'm just going to add my headers to do. I usually like to head head. I usually like to add it after I put down my ombre heart check boxes. It's just that I like the stickers to sit on top of it just in case my ombre heart check boxes does not line up. And you know me with putting stickers down, it's never straight. So that's why I like to do the headers last to make it straight. Next, I'm going to do my full boxes. I usually like to put the quote on Thursday. However, I do have my postcard that I like to make it as my journaling card for this spread and it usually lies on the right side of the page so that's why I put the quotes on the left side so that the journaling card will not cover the quotes. And next I'm just going to add my date covers. I've created this breast cancer full box sticker which came with your October mystery kit and I'm going to use it with this spread because I do want to put the sticker down for the breast cancer awareness month. However, with the sidebar, 
Usually my kits do come with sidebar, but with the mystery kit it does not, so I have to grab some scrapbook paper to see what will match the kit and lo and behold there's like ribbons so i'm like this is perfect pink ribbon so i'm going to use this page for sure in in my spread okay once that's done before i do do the sidebars i do need to do my washi the bottom washi and the top washi so those are the selection i've decided to use for this spread So the mystery kit does come with a monthly kit and in that monthly kit it comes with washi strips that lets you use it as an indicator of uh, events or duration of an event. However, I created those washi kits, washi kits, those washi strips to fit into your headers also just in case that you don't need it for the monthly kit, you could use it for your weekly kit. Now for the midsection washi here, you could see me debating if I should put it down before I put my scrapbook pages down. So I've decided to cut up my scrapbook first, my scrapbook paper to fit into the boxes before I put the washi on top of it. I'm going to apply the scrapbook paper with some double sided tape that I got from the dollar store which is like square it was like three rolls of double-sided tape for a dollar like you can't go around with that right so I'm going to do that apply it onto my page and then apply the washi on top And you all know me, I cannot just apply a single layer of washi. So I'm going to apply this Love You Quotes washi tape on top of the pink and gold washi. And next, before I forget, I'm going to put down my meal plan stickers for the week. And for some reason, at that moment, I had to fill in the dates because I kind of felt lost without having numbers or date numbers on the top because then I don't know what day it is of the week. <laughs> and finally onto the sidebar. I've cut this scrapbook paper to size. Not exactly, I know it's the measurement is less than two inches so I just cut a two inch strip. Then I place down my two sided tape onto my spread instead of the scrapbook paper because I know I have to trim the scrapbook paper and I didn't want to get my scissors all gunky with tape. So that's why I placed the tape onto the weekly spread instead of the scrapbook paper. I had an extra sidebar sticker that I didn't use from my monthly kit so I'm just going to apply it onto this weekly kit. So now we're going to work on our today's section. So this week not much is happening. I'll be cutting and printing a lot, mostly this whole week. Practically, let's just face it, this whole week I'm just cutting and printing. So Monday we have grocery day. Tuesday is the first day of class of my little girl karate. So she's, yeah, she's learning to kick some bum out there. So guys, watch out because she knows karate. Well, we're enrolling her into karate. And then Thursday, Friday, more cutting. Thursday is usually a midweek grocery day and Friday my little girl's school is having a Thanksgiving potluck lunch so I have to make sure that I'm bringing in something for the class. So for the road trip, we'll be taking a road trip for the road trip, we're taking a road trip, what am I saying? So for the weekend we're taking a road trip to my in-laws because we're having Thanksgiving dinner on Sunday. Um, the stickers that I'll be using is from Once More With Love and the ham sticker there is actually from Anxiety Aids that I got last Christmas so I just pulled that out. And because we'll be away for the weekend, I have to film my plan with me on Friday. And Sunday, as I said and mentioned before, that it's the last day of our November Mystery Kit pre-sale so I'm just going to indicate that with a box page flag here. And when we go on road trips, I like to make a list of things to pack so I don't forget and I can always refer to and check off. So here I'm just going to create a little list of things to bring with us. Um, the foil sticker is actually from All That Shine. It's a foil sticker of, of a suitcase. I don't know if you guys can see because of the glare. Once all my todays is done, I go back to my to-do list just to put in the little things that I know I need to do that week too. So here I gotta mail out orders before we head out on the world trip. I like to put down my social media events or things. Oh, 
I got this sticker from Once More With Love. It's your October Wacky sticker. So I'm just gonna place that, I believe, at the bottom of the spread because I have nowhere else to place it. So I'm, every day is a different wacky holiday. So it's pretty cute to, to see her doodles down there. And I'm gonna take some of my circle stickers to indicate that I do have a payday coming up and, and things that I shouldn't forget. And finally, the decorative part. So here I am putting down the pink ribbon full box at the corner. I'm gonna decorate it with some sticker that came with the mystery kit. And I felt that the space underneath is kinda of empty and I went through my Mambi quote book, which I am so in love with. You could see that I'm always using it mostly every week. And I found this quote. Um, I think it's very fitting for that week spread. And I like the black actually. The black against this really makes it stand out. So the quote says, where there is love, there is life. And that that is true. And I'm just going to finish my decorating. And now for the ink. I loved how the black stood out, so I'm just gonna use the black ink for the spread. So this journaling card or postcard or artwork is from the mystery kit and I like to include it with this week. So I just took the back cover of my happy planner and used it as a template, trace some circles in it, add a few holes into the card and snip some few slits. And there you go. So with this card, you could use it anywhere. I just like to include it in my happy planner because it's a memory keepsake. I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me. I had so much fun creating this. I did want it to be very subtle for the breast cancer awareness. And I think I achieved that by putting the sticker at the top and also scoring on this awesome pink ribbon scrapbook paper that I used for the weekend. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And a little reminder, this is the last weekend for the November Mystery Kit pre-sale. I know last month's October Mystery Kit was sold out before the pre-sale ended. So guys, if you guys have not had the chance to get, go over the website, I suggest you do so. Get your hands on one before it goes out of stock. You guys have yourself a wonderful weekend. To my Canadian fellows, happy long weekend, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning, bye.